Sacramento, California, and I chose to take a sabbatical, a leave of absence from my job to travel and to see Central and South America. So I started in Peru and I was there for six months and near the end of my stay, I was looking at another place, another country to visit before returning to California. Once I set that intention that I wanted to go s visit another location, a couple of friends that week talked about two different music festivals, my heart festival and cosmic convergence, which were both happening in Guatemala. So I decided to just book a flight and buy those tickets and just make that happen. Yeah. Wanting to, yeah, explore the Mayan culture and the Mayan cosmology and meet people that are also visiting here and hearing about Legatik Lanifa as being such an amazing, magical place. So you made this choice to go on sabbatical from a job that you, you've been working for a while, five years. Five years. And so what's, what's this deep, what's the deeper thing that's driven you to leave and go travel and journey to do what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. Working five years as a school psychologist, it was, it's been a crazy wild journey and just seeing how much stress is inherent in the system of just like this go attitude. I needed a break from it and realizing like taking a summer break, like wasn't going to be deep enough for me to truly drop into my own healing and seeing not yeah, at the time that I left, not truly understanding like what that might mean for me, but just having this like sense of soul purpose that I was meant to go to South America and experience it fully. I'd gone to Peru the a year before that, just for like 12 days to visit some of the sacred sites in the sacred valley. And it was like just enough for me to get, um, a feel for the land and a sense of just like, whoa, this place is amazing. Um, and wanting to drop in more deeply when that land death is real and it can happen at any moment. And. It's important to remind ourselves, are we doing exactly what we want to be doing with our lives? And, and if I were to answer that, if I was to answer that question, honestly, at that time, it would be no, like working in a school district where I, I feel very limited in, in how effective I can be, but no, I don't want to be doing that the rest of my life and that but really what was tying me to continuing in that job was like the doubt that I could do anything else or the, yeah, or the rationalization that I went through all these years of school and I've worked all these years in, in this school district, why not continue? And so by asking myself those questions, it just led me back to wanting to travel more because if I were to die a few years from now, I want to know that I saw the world and that, that I got to know myself quite a bit. And I think what that's leading to is having received so much from traveling and from meeting awesome people. Now I can go back and truly, truly give myself to other people in the, for, in the form of love and service that like, perhaps that those were concepts of mine that, that I was doing at the time, but seeing that like my heart was very closed off and I think the purpose of traveling for me is open up my heart and see that there's a whole world out there that's way beyond what my thoughts are or my conception of how reality is. And it's helped me to shed a lot of core beliefs and judgments that I've held on to since a child, because I've been afraid or I've been just ignorant of what places look like outside of America. Yeah which is really eye-opening and so grateful for its happy experiences. For me, that means like whatever I do, whatever I choose to do this life, going for it with all of my being. And like, that's what helps me to be alive in this world. To completely dissolve myself into what I am doing. And that way I become inspiration for others. It's because I'm so inspired when I see other people acting like full alignment with what they're meant to do. And there's power behind it. I feel the energy that's put into it. And I want to do that for myself and to inspire others in that way.
And it's not about lecturing someone on what they should be doing. It's just a pure transmission that I can see someone in the act of being completely what they're meant to be. And I'm inspired by that. And I think that's the biggest learning I've taken away from these travels is I've seen so many people like that. The very act of traveling is a courageous act. It's an act of, it, it's an act of uh, sovereignty, our will to, it's an act of freedom. It's an act of release into the unknown, the uncertainty. And through that release into the unknown and the uncertainty, we work through all the fears. We work through all the, all those egoic limitations of dissatisfaction and uncertainty and doubt. And, and we get to break through into realizing like we've always had wings and we were always meant to be flying like this. We were always meant to tap into our full human potential that's dampened by cultural conditions. So we only really see it. I've always really seen it by stepping outside of. American culture.